हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर ए एस अयर आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द कोर्स ऑन फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस क्लास वी विल सॉल्व वन न्यूमेरिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑन हाउ टू डिटरमाइन शे फंक्शन फॉर थ्री नोडेड सी एस टी एलिमेंट सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज अ थ्री नोडेड ट्राइंगल एलिमेंट एज शोन इन फिगर Used in plane elasticity problem, coordinates of all three nodes are node number one zero zero, node number two four zero, and node number three two two. And question is to find shape functions of these three noded triangle element. Since it is a three noded triangle element, we can call it as a CST element. Okay, so it is a CST element. now solution steps we know that in previous 3 4 lectures we have seen how to determine the shape functions of various element so shape functions can be determined using p into a inverse n represent the shape function vector p represent the parametric matrix a represent the connectivity matrix and inverse of that so n is equal to p into a inverse where n represent shape functions now if you put the value of p and a inverse here so p equal to parametric matrix we know that we have already discussed in the derivation of shape function lecture since this element is having three nodes this is node number 1 node number 2 and node number 3 Since the ST element is having three nodes, at each node there are two degrees of freedom, that is u and v. So there will be u1, u2, u3, three degrees of freedom in x direction, and three degrees of freedom in y direction, v1, v2, v3. So when we are writing the displacement function for the ST element corresponding to three degrees of freedom, u1, u2, u3, or v1, v2, v3, we are taking the three elements from the Pascal triangle. and those three elements are first one that is a constant and from the linear term we are selecting one and x and y so these are the three elements which we are selecting to write down the displacement function for u as well as displacement function for v so that's why these three elements are nothing but elements of parametric matrix 1 x y now when we write down this parametric parametric matrix for three nodes no number 1 2 3 Instead of this x and y, we are putting the coordinates of node number one, two, and three respectively. So for node number one, if you assume it is x one, y one. For node number two, it is x two, y two, and node number three, it is x three, y three. So this is P matrix, that is parametric matrix one x y, and connectivity matrix A representing the coordinates of three nodes: one x one, y one, one x two, y two, and one x three, y three. In this problem, values of x1, y1 to x3, x3 y3 are known to us. x1, y1 is 0, 0; x2, y2, 4, 0; and x3, y3, 2, 2. So these coordinates are known. So if we substitute these values in connectivity matrix, we will get the matrix like 1, 0, 0; 1, 4, 0; and 1, 2, 2. Okay. Now we have to find out inverse of that. Now it is a three by three matrix. So to determine the inverse, the simplest method is method of adjoint. So if you determine the inverse by using method of adjoint, that is one upon determinant of that matrix A. Okay, into adjoint matrix. Adjoint matrix is nothing but transpose of cofactor matrix. This adjoint matrix is nothing but transpose of Co-factor matrix. So we have to find out co-factor of each element of this three by three matrix. This is very well-known method, and all of you know how to find out inverse using method of adjoint. So determinant value of this three by three matrix is eight. So it is one upon eight, and then these are the co-factors of various element, and then taking the transpose. This is nothing but adjoint matrix. This is adjoint matrix of the above three by three matrix. So this is inverse of the This three by three matrix, one upon eight, and this three by three. Now, if you multiply this row 
with one by one three columns of this inverse we will get the three shape functions of given cst element so 1 into 8 is 8 1 x into minus 2 it is minus 2x and y into minus 2 it is minus 2y so n1 is equal to 8 minus 2x minus 2y upon 8 similarly if you multiply the this row with the second column of the inverse you will get 1 into 0 0 x into 2 2x y into minus 2 minus 2y so it is 2x minus 2y divided by this 1 upon determinant is 8 and similarly if you multiply that row with the third column of the inverse you will get the these two elements are 0 0 so directly y into 4 4y divided by this 8 so it is 4y upon 8 so like this we can find out the shape functions of three noted CST element okay I hope all of you have understand the numerical example in the next class we will solve the next numerical example on shape functions of CST element okay thank you thank you very much